Hey everyone, my name is Ksenia. I am a Russian in America and today I'm gonna try all the iconic American chain restaurants. Today is a bit of a broad statement, of course. This video was filmed in the span of weeks and weeks and honestly I could go on <laughs> and I could keep doing it and just never release it or release it five years later but let's just do it now and then maybe I'll do a second part because it's been a long time it's long overdue but yes I am a Russian born and raised in Russia I am currently in America and to this day I am fascinated by how much of a cultural phenomenon <laughs> America and American food in particular is and honestly I want to make this video because first of all as a European as a non-American I'm very amused by the differences in American food culture from the European food culture so if you're the same if you're like me if you're a non-American and you want to take a plunge into the American everyday food culture this video is for you but also if you are an American this video is also for you because y'all are weird <laughs> because your food and your food culture and your habits are strange to a non-American person so if you want to see all the ways that your food and your chain restaurants that you're so used to that you probably have known since you were a kid baffle me this video is also for you so yeah I'm just taking you guys on this journey with me buckle up because it's gonna be a wild ride and let's go! Guys, I'm finally beginning my American food tour and the first stop is Cheesecake Factory. So I'm here and I'm actually matching. It's pink, just like me. <laughs> Okay, the menu is freaking huge, like it's the size of me, you know, like in SpongeBob when they like roll out a huge piece of paper, it's that. I'm not sure how I'm gonna choose, but I'm sure I'm gonna figure something out. I had an impression this was gonna be like really chill and like simple, but this is like Las Vegas, like what the hell is going on? So our first item is the drink, it's a mint fizz, it has fashion food and it already smells like very minty. Uh, I didn't get a mocktail because I'm not ready to day drink in such weather, but you know, it's great. It's nice, refreshing, it smells more minty than it tastes, but I like it. Yo, I did not realize this was so much food. <laughs> These are southern chicken sliders, and this here is soft crab with artichoke dip. Okay, I guess if I don't eat all that bread, I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> so let's go. This is the texture of like a croquette, but a very soft one. Let me try it. This is so good. And like, you know how on the menu they have those like calorie counts? Those are scary. And the fact that at the bottom of the page it says that the norm for a human for a day is 2000 calories, and some dishes are like 2800. Like, how am I supposed to go? It's really good. No, oh, it's really good. Let me try this. I think I'm gonna ditch half of the bread because it's extreme. So I'm gonna put some sauce on here. Some pickles. Okay, this feels right. Oh my god, Sauce. It reminds me of my absolute favorite sauce that being the in and out so it's very similar. But yeah, I guess if I'm gonna make a series, I'm gonna start rating food, which to me is easier and better and more logical than rating wrestling, which I do not do, I refuse to do it. But I guess out of 10, this the sliders, it's like an 8. And I'm gonna say for me, 1 is like I could not be eating it 
but it was full of better in Kuba, but I just could not. I just hated it. And 10 would be reserved, you know, for an absolute out of body experience. And 9 would be something that would make me go, like, oh my god, this is so new and great. So this would be an 8. And the crab, the crab would be an 8.5. Just because I have eaten a chicken slider before, but I haven't eaten the crab like that before. Okay, when they first brought me this mountain of bread, <laughs> I thought I had already gone through Carp Town and I was gonna be safe from now on. And yet, <laughs> this is a gigantic pasta, possibly the biggest pasta I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, it's bigger than my head. I'm gonna try it now. Okay, I'm gonna spoil it a little bit and tell you that this smells freaking amazing. And now I finally understand all those memes where people go like, you know, uh, tell me when with, with Parmesan and then you never tell the waiter of when. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get like a perfect bite. So this is uh, spaghetti with shrimp, mushrooms and like, with like a lemony um, herby sauce. This is what white looks like, which is pretty really white. Is it hot? Mm. It is good. The, the shrimp is very fragrant. And I love the sauce. But we already know that this is their, you know, forte. However, I do feel like I can make something like this at home for myself. So, I'm gonna give it a six and a half. I am gonna keep it in the dough. I will say though that for some reason coming in I had pasta in mind so I came for this. It's finally time for the star of the show, the cheesecake. I had a I got a caramel cheesecake with the right one and I guess it's time that they make a bit of a confession. I don't actually like cheesecake. <laughs> uh, so let's try. Taking into account the amount of calories that they're in this, which is outrageous. This is very light. I actually kind of like it, especially since I'm a person who doesn't like cheesecake. It's just, it's good. It's a good cake. It doesn't really feel like a cheesecake that much because it's just so light and fluffy. I would say it's a 7. That was so much food. It almost felt weird. Like, do you ever film a video and think this is someone's king? Uh, but yeah, I'm just out of Cheesecake Factory. I loved the interior design in a way. It's like almost Mesopotamic slash Babylonian. I like the ambience, you know? And most of the food was great, but I didn't like how huge the portions were. And everything was just so freaking calorie dense. Like, who eats that? Uh, so on the whole, I would say it's about a 7 out of 10. Not life-changing. Not gonna go there again on this trip, but definitely a bucket list item checked off. <laughs> if this was a separate video, it would be called The Person Who Doesn't Like Cheesecake Goes to Cheesecake Factory. <laughs>
kind of synthetic, tastes like, like a Jolly Rancher. But nice. Uh, did we read drinks? Uh, should we read a drink? Let's read a drink. I'd say this is a solid 7. A bit too sweet for me and a bit too synthetic, <laughs> but nice. Okay, I got my order, and last time we were at Cheesecake Factory, I confess that I don't actually like cheesecake, <laughs> but I do actually like pretzels and hot dogs, both, so I'm very excited. So I got pretzel dog and cheese dip, and I wanted um, honey mustard dip, but they were out of that. This has a really nice, like, convenient sleeve, but it smells nice, it smells like pretzel, but it is a little burnt. I was saying that's, that's burnt. <laughs> So I'm gonna try without the first. Oh, what? what? Okay, that's nice. I mean, there are not many ways that you can screw up a hot dog. Let's try this. Dip. The dip is pretty much, you know, your standard McDonald's cheese sauce. I mean, this is good, but here's the tricky thing about rating fast food. Because fast food always lends food. Because it's hard to make complex flavors work, but fast food is not complex, it's easy, simple, tasty. So, when I will be rating stuff, I will be given extra points for complexity. But this would be just absolutely great if it was not burned. Just for being burned, I'm giving this... I'm giving this four and a half. For being pretty much my only savory food option at this mall, I would say that I kind of like Pontiens. And I know I rated the dog pretty low, but actually if it wasn't burned, it would be a solid like six, six and a half. And it's a perfect serving size by the way. And that sleeve with the foil, honestly extra points. So yeah, I liked it. is Olive Garden. I really underestimated how not in the walking distance everything here is. I intended for Taco Bell, ended up here, uh, but this is kind of going to plan. So Olive Garden is definitely one of the places that I've like wanted to go for a long time and partially because of that segment on uh, Tonight Show where my absolute favorite in the world, Post Malone, and Jimmy Fallon went to an Olive Garden. So I ordered the same thing, I ordered a chicken parm and I'm gonna eat the breadsticks like post two times. Our first item is a mango strawberry iced tea. It's not as iced as I would love it to be. And it's very sweet, like today my curse is sweet drinks, like this is too sweet. Probably should have expected that, <laughs> but I would say it's, it's a five. <laughs> so we've got the famous It is a really good salad. I was a little scared because I've heard that Americans don't see on their salad. This is an Italian salad, right? Good, we don't waste it. I'll give it a six minute. Okay, now it's time for the legendary breadsticks. And actually, on the internet, they look like way simpler than they actually are. It has like a coating of some sort, like a garlic coating. And it's time to eat them the way that our Lord and Savior. Alone, hasn't done it. So first you bite those. Nice. And then you take some butter. You put it on. Then you chip it off. And you pick These are so good. These are better than I can imagine them. Now I get all the hype. I wasn't gonna rate them because like this is a car, this is a product, like obviously it's good. But this is extremely good. This is why it's an 
Okay, yo, here comes the one, the only, the legendary chicken farm. And it's huge again, it's a huge portion. And if I'm completely honest with you, it would have been full on the salad and the breadsticks. But, you know, it would have been a good experience. It smells amazing. You can just grab the perfect bite. I kind of do get the hype, but they also kind of go. Like, it's pizza to your food. Like, if you can handle the complex flavors, that's for you. No offense, Posty. But, you know, that was a Cheesecake Factory this week. They're fast up. Even though they're not on the alley, they're starting. So, this. Like a 4, like a 3.75. So this was Olive Garden. I am so full again. What the hell? And this time I only ordered one thing, but that bottomless salad, girl, like that should be in every restaurant. But you know, I sounded like disgruntled by the end of it, uh, but actually I kind of liked it. Um, between Cheesecake Factory, Olive Garden, and Auntie, what, what is it? Auntie Anne's? Um, Olive Garden takes the honorable second place as of now in our table uh we'll see what happens next um but yeah the thing is they baited me with this great basic but amazing great salad with those fantastic breadsticks that by the way like i get the hype now like i t took them to my hotel room because i just could not leave them there oh, i loved the breadsticks and then they brought me the most mediocre pasta ever like as i said this is like a picky eater pasta like if you cannot handle complex flavors if you're like give me chicken and the carb this is your thing but it was so underwhelming for me personally and now i get it why people say that it's like american italian like an american fast food but italian uh because like when i walked in and the salad and stuff like that it felt pretty Italian, you know? But when I tried the pasta, <laughs> it tasted like an American was shown a picture of an Italian pasta and tried to recreate it and left out, you know, the taste. <laughs> so I didn't really like the pasta. But overall, just for the breadsticks and the salad, they could be coming back. So our step, or rather stop, number four, is Taco Bell. And I've actually been to Taco Bell before, and I freaking love Taco Bell. But I decided to still film it for the vlog, because we don't have Taco Bells in Russia. <laughs> I've encountered a Taco Bell in Europe once. That was my second, or like, my third motherland. <laughs> that sounds weird. I'm a well-traveled person, okay? My third motherland, Romania. They have Taco Bell there. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to have me some Taco Bell. No stress here, because I know I love it. <laughs> I'm excited. Like, better plus is my favorite color, obviously. <laughs> Delightful. This is a Mountain Dew, Battle Blast. And like, 10 out of 10? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but like, literally like 9. And I've got my Corn Trap Supreme. It's so big. It's like as big as my head. This is my absolute favorite thing I've talked about. And I said I was gonna retract points from fast food because it's like simple flavors and it's relatively easy to make it delicious, but like I just cannot stand the charm of a Crunchwrap Supreme. So like to me this is literally like a nine. Right. Eight and a half, nine. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> this is actually something I've never tried before. It's like potatoes with like nacho cheese and sour cream, which should be good. <laughs> they gave me like a spork. Yeah, this is so good. 
could be more crunchy, but this is better than I had expected. This is an eight. Mm. It's time for dessert. And you guys probably already figured out that I'm more of a savory person, but I do love myself some cinnamon delights. And this is like literally a two-pack, this is so cool because most American places don't have any portion control, so I'm glad I could just get two. <laughs> It's been so long since I had this, so I can't really remember. Do we pop it in in whole? Nice. They are good. Not nearly as mind blowing as a crunch wrap supreme. <laughs> as I said, maybe to me problem. Because I do like savory food better. So I'll give this like Okay, so this was Taco Bell. Nothing too new or surprising because I've still been there, but it's like coming home, you know. As for the ambiance, like it not, it's not much there. You were here and it was really cold inside there. But you know, it's Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. So this is probably the least exciting chapter of this. But I enjoyed it. much it's way less than a target but we've got some WWE and then we have the AW title which is making me want a cup and the AW ring which is also really cool but I'm not gonna you know transfer it all the way from here to Russia uh, they also have these and I'm gonna get a couple of these and hope for Becky I might also get some of these as souvenirs for friends back in Russia uh, but I I'm not sure I will be able to control myself, I'll just trip all of them open. Should I? <laughs> it's so tiny. Like, I really love these. And if I were at home, I would totally get this one. But you know, I've had real tattoos around my waist. Not that I want them, but I had them around my waist. <laughs> and this feels way different, of course. Okay, I'm definitely getting me young. And out of the like the bigger figures, this is the only one that I'm gonna get. Uh, I keep looking at that same Mandy, <laughs> but I'm not compelled enough, so I'm getting these. because it's time for our next stop or stop number five and today i'm getting to two which is always great and as everyone knows before getting to two you need to get a nice hearty breakfast so we're going to ihop so the drink is here and i'm not usually one to drink like super sweet fatty stuff in the morning but this excited me because it's a maple bacon milkshake so let's try it This sure is interesting. Like, you gotta prepare yourself for this. <laughs> um, wait. <laughs> this tastes like pancakes and bacon, right? Ooh, I'm really not sure. I kinda like it, but it's like weird. Maybe like a six, but like with a special mark, it's just like weird. <laughs> So, I've seen and tried chicken waffles, but this is something new for me, so I'm more than ready to try the world famous pancakes. Let's then try to get a different bite. Here we go! Mm. 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 Definitely the butter is salty too. Like, for me this is not that different from chicken and pancakes, but this is good, it's great. Yeah, from chicken and waffles. And I love chicken and waffles, so this is great. Maybe I would say like a solid seven and a half. So that was IHOP. Again, you guys, ungodly amounts of food. 
like what are you doing to me i've resorted to eating once a day because of that because it's just crazy but i really liked it here like for breakfast that's perfect that's like simple comforting food and i still prefer chicken waffles to chicken pancakes but you just have to try the famous pancakes and they were great Excuse the flush on TV, I'm watching Raw, <laughs> but I almost didn't include this in the video because it's not like a popular location, it's not like a well-known chain restaurant in America that I think like European people would be entertained to watch being reviewed, but I decided just now in my bed <laughs> when I've got the leftovers boxed for me uh, that I need to include this in the video because I've already been there twice and this is the most freaking amazing food I've eaten on this trip so far and it's from Sushi Burrito Express so these are the chicken sticks which are freaking phenomenal like what do they do to them? I don't know it tastes like something between like Chinese pork and like maybe like a pecking duck and they are freaking amazing and we're back at rating fast food but this is not really fast food it's not a burger it's like a piece of chicken on a stick and it's that freaking fantastic and I am gonna give it a nine because these are so good and also they give you this sauce that might as well be my absolute favorite sauce I've ever eaten. Well, you guys know that my absolute favorite sauce ever is the fry sauce from In-N-Out, but this one is a close second or might even be a tie because it's just freaking fantastic. I want it on everything. Like I want the recipe, like give me it, I will eat everything with it. And here's the burrito itself and I've already put some soy sauce on it. And this is the crunchy tuna. Uh, but before that I've gotten the like dragon salmon or something like this. And the salmon I actually like a little better but this one i also love so let's just read them as a concept and also give them a nine because they are fantastic so sorry for this like small intermission i didn't show you the thing it was literally a food court but i just caught myself coming back there because this is just delicious okay i recommend 